What's up guys, Oversoul here with some more World War II online video. This time we're doing daylight bombing of bridges. And World War II online is uh man, it's still going. Launched in two thousand one. It's kinda like the great granddaddy of massive online multiplayer. It's maybe not so massive right now, but uh, still going strong due to some business reorganization tricks and miracles. Uh, it's free to play. You get uh, limited access to certain like ground units and everybody gets an air unit right now. They changed that recently. If you want to support development, $20 subscription per month and you're supporting the ongoing development and the server hosting, which, you know, nothing, <laughs> nothing good is free, uh, but you can play this one for free. And there's a super uh, builder for like 30 bucks a month and that's you give it another 10 bucks to development it's um, and it is ongoing they've added new units they recently added artillery there's two side-by-side -side projects coming out one is an FPS called choke point just dedicated FPS only just troops tro uh, not uh, air simulation not tank simulation and uh, the other side-by-side -side project is the second version of World War II online so you're supporting those two projects if you purchase the subscriptions but it's free to play um, like I said simulation focused air simulator bombers fighters um, trucks tanks anti-air guns um, APCs anti-tank guns it's pretty uh, diverse set of stuff but you know you got to know what it is. It's a game that came out in 2001, so some of the assets at first glance look a little wonky and retro and dated, but uh, I love it. Um, there's a development roadmap with flesh, fresh uh, deliverables, which I already kind of mentioned, like uh, the artillery came out, the JU-88 twin-engine German bomber came out, and there's some other stuff on their website, which I'll put in the description below. So here's probably a good time to get into glide bombing versus level bombing, the pros and cons. Glide bombing is a lot quicker, but it's it's the con is that it's dirtier. It's quick to set up. You got a quick getaway. You're already booming down. So you got a little bit of smack on you. You can turn and get the F out of there. The accuracy and repeatability is kind of iffy. Um, I'm hitting the same two bridges over and over, so that kind of makes it a little bit easier. But uh, then you go into level bombing. It's more precise, but you need to know the target location, so that makes it not suitable to a dynamic battle where contacts are moving around all the time. Um, fire bases, bridges, factories, these things are never moving, so it's a lot easier to set up. But it does take a while to set up, and it's pretty technical. You have to be on altitude, on airspeed, on heading, Especially fire bases where the uh, the two spawns, infantry spawn, vehicle spawn, are maybe lined up north south, or maybe they're lined up kind of north that uh, diagonally. So it's a little bit more technical. So it's easier to mess up. It takes a long time to set up, and if you bust a pass, which I did a couple times, even in peaceful Antwerp, uh, it just exp you know. So imagine you're trying to do this in a hostile area with uh, enemy air EA around you. It just makes it harder. It increases your exposure. Um, but the key to anything is a good setup. Key to a land, good landing, good setup. Key to a good bombing run, good setup. So that's it. 